Um, did you get a lesson in the in, in the blues before this, or are you uh, already a, a student? Um, well, I listened to the blues, and I grew up listening listening to it, and I'm a fan of it. But I never played a guitar or made an attempt to sing the blues while I was doing it. So I had to go through the rigorous training of sitting with some people and learning to play guitar and yeah, but getting comfortable with it and finding a way to finding a way to make my blues voice, you know, Lazarus's, I guess. When you're sitting there, though, getting this lesson from these major talent, people with some amazing ability, are you kind of just, like, are you enjoying yourself at the time of just listening to them, or are you uh, 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 learning something at the same time? Well, for a minute, it's, it's, it's frustrating, and once you kind of pick up what it is they're giving to you, then you start having this level of enjoyment. Uh, that's kind of great, especially when they're not with you or you now that they have this new technology where you can plug something into an amp, put some headphones on, nobody else can hear you. You can make all the mistakes you want or you can sit there and imagine you're playing all kinds of riffs and do all this other stuff and it's great. Um, and when I finally did learn to play the songs uh, and I got back to Scott, who was the music supervisor, uh, we would sit down and he would start talking about the songs and we would, and I would say, well, let me show you how I want to do it and then I would start doing it and he'd kind of look at my hands and be like, I never knew you could play it that way because I'd pick out my own ways to find it. And then I realized that all these other blues guys had these very specific styles that don't lend themselves to one another. Everybody's very specific about how they play and what they do. Uh, that I had developed something that was kind of my own. Now, could you play another instrument now? Because once you've learned how to play an instrument, can't you play other instruments? Now, I could play other instruments before I got to that. But stringed instruments are different. I don't think I could pick up, you know, a bass and do it. It's like I had to learn to play cello for another movie. but. It didn't help me at all learning to play the guitar for this film. Oh, the, uh, the violin movie. No. No, no, that's right. You weren't a player. No, it was no good to you. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. What, uh, no, is, that, is this your first time you're on a soundtrack, though, to a movie? Yeah. Well, singing. Singing? I'm on the Pulp Fiction soundtrack, you know, oh. expounding. And okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, is it, talk a little bit about uh, Christine in this movie, because it seemed to me that I, if I was doing it, I'd be very protective on and off camera of her just because of the, her situation that she's in, did you kind of grow a little bit of a protective bond there with her? Or? Well, I mean, well, she and I had this have have this relationship anyway. We have the same agent and we interact socially, and I'd always wanted to work with her. And I, I didn't quite know what Christina's process was, but once we started to rehearse, I understood, you know, and saw that she's like very gung ho and she dives into it and she gives of herself in a very, you know, brave and kind of devil may care kind of way. Uh, and a lot of times when creators see somebody who's like that willing to just go and give and give and give, the ideas that they had start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And as an actor and having been in a lot of different kinds of things, especially theatrically when other actors kind of lose themselves in something and having been punched in the face by actors who just, I just lost it, man, I, I didn't mean to hit you, or doing something crazy, that you kind of see them saying, okay, now this time we're gonna, you go, whoa, 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 we've already, you know, pushed this as far as you need to push it. Plus, we got a lot more movie to do, and if she hits this and she breaks her toe, or if this falls over and when that happens, you know, well, then what are we gonna do? And then they're gonna go, oh, okay. You know, because Christina's just willing. So, tremendous job. Thank you.